So uh, 477 <coughs> upfront cost, 10% ongoing. Um, what what is the staff reaction? It's, it's this is, I'm, and I'll tell you why I'm asking this question because there's a lot of teachers in the audience and they didn't come out. They don't generally come out for the tip report meeting. And I'm guessing they came out for this topic. Thank you for that. I think it's, I think it's really I think it's really been uh, mixed. There are lots of questions about where we get the time for the answers, and I think we're at a point in our history uh, where we need to look at that in a creative way and say, gee, if we did this for the 13 week period, we would gain more time. Now, how you gain the time is why we want to work on the implementation plan with our, our teachers. Um, and they have given uh, uh, several recommendations, which as we sit with the implementation team, we will be uh, considering. I think there are those that are very much concerned about what it does to schedules. Right. Uh, uh, there are there's one of the suggestions that was made uh, by our teachers was could we do some more with before and after school for the start, at least for the rest of this year, and see <coughs> what works with, with that and, and how we might uh, spend additional time training faculty and staff. I want to make it clear that while our teachers are critical components of this, that one does not need, on the part that is the lab piece, one does not have to be a teacher to present it. So again, one of the models, we may actually gain some time. I think many staff members have, uh, have not been uh, exposed to the dialogue and discussion at the school board meetings or, or had an opportunity uh, to learn more about this. I also have been told by uh, Wayne and, and Mike as late as today that there are teachers that are anxious to get started with it. So I think we have a small cadre of, of folks who have some information, some experiences that are ready to go. I think there are a lot of undecided. What's it mean? Will it really make a difference in my kid's life? If I haven't, if I haven't seen some of this working, I might feel the same way. Uh, so it is a uh, opportunity for us to start to think about how we get things off the teachers' plates, not onto them. And I, I think you can do that better when your kids, especially the range that we have right now, are closer together. If we really can make an impact on the gap while raising the bar for everyone, that, that, uh, that puts a very different uh, uh, spin on it, if you will, than if you look at it as, gee, I'm, what do I do with 30 minutes of, of youngster not in my class? If we are operating as we, I think we are with, uh, for example, the balanced literacy approach, it shouldn't be as much of a problem as when we were really teaching whole group. Teaching whole group and teaching a few 30 minutes, that, that's a problem. Uh, if you're really grouping patterns, if you're using the, uh, other strategies, it's less of an issue. But there is an opportunity for, our, for some of our schools under this scheme uh, to uh, actually uh, do it at a grade level if they want to participate in it, and we have teachers who are interested in doing that as well. I'm not interested right now in closing that gap. That's why I'm, I haven't narrowed down the implementation strategy yet. I don't, I want there to be some options that we look at with our staff members so that we can get comfortable in this. I believe what will happen is when the results start to come in and teachers see at each site, youngsters really being more focused and so forth, that there'll be a lot more buy-in on the part of folks. We're not there yet. We had a very small sample. It was disjointed. We did pretty well despite that, but there were some examples where they haven't really seen the kind of benefit that the independent studies and that some of us have seen. So it's a mixed bag. Okay. So, but you're getting staff feedback, and that's being considered as you are. I have. I have asked. I see uh, Susan and also I've asked OPTA in particular to sit with me and help me think how we can best implement this, and we are taking their suggestions very seriously. Okay. Um, my last comment is for the kind of picky one, and that is, this is probably the third time we've talked about this, where we've gotten the presentation at the board table, but it's not in the board book. And so I just went back while you were presenting and wanted to look at the at the 
previous board meeting and it, it wasn't in there for me to look at, that's just a frustration on my part because in terms of our just transparency for our board members, this is my meeting record keeping, and also for our community, we want to be able to say to people, here, go look at that presentation. It's public. It's on the website. It is on the website. Well, we got to go back and reload. It is on the website. Is it? Yeah. It is on the website. We're trying to do, but it could be a book. Well, the fact that you can't start with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think to that point, just to help make sure, because I agree with you in terms of how to keep the records and everything, um, maybe we can at least make an addendum to this week's board pack just to have a special thing so at least it's in there as it was presented. So we'll right. have a little bit. Okay. Amy? Amy? Uh, you know, the question I have was I appreciate having um, this, you guys decide to figure out how you'll implement it and the guys can be able to do the implementing the device. But I just want to make sure that all the schools will be implementing it in some way and meaningful way that will have impact and we'll be able to measure data sort of uniformly in some capacity going forward. The protocol has to be followed uh, with fidelity. You can follow that protocol in a number of ways, though, but you're absolutely right in that that would be good. Thank you. Sure. Sure. So I have a couple questions with them for future steps. So I'm going to start just question now. So first, this is a major investment of district funds. Um, I really like it we're taking home really making this decision seriously. I can show for those of you in the audience, we've talked about this quite a bit, multiple meetings. Um, and this is the second presentation on the results. Um, so I also appreciate that you allowed us to actually like um, use it. So like we went to the district office and we could go and it makes it easy. And we actually got to do it. That was cool. Um, and thank you for letting us do that. I think one thing that they mentioned to me that you've not mentioned is that it that it has the results on what works clearinghouse, I mean, which means a lot, and not many intervention strategies do. Um, and so in your next presentation for this, you might or you might talk about that. And then that'll to me. Um, and I like our movement to blended learning because I think we can individualize instruction. Um, my questions are, I have two questions. One, um, are the students in the analysis those, all students or those with gains only, as some of those were previously? I Okay. And then the other question is, why do you think, it, I may have misunderstood this, um, Chris, maybe you could go back. It appeared that attendance didn't correlate to growth. One would, one would think that the more you got the treatment, the more well, you could see the growth. Why do you think that was? I don't have any folks that this could go to Maybe I'm wrong, though. I, I think that that, it may have something to do with the fact that this wasn't really um, a, um, an implementation that followed the, the recommendations that we made. So it, it was done in the summer, and, and so attendance was up and down, and we had a big gap, and so on. And this is not, um, normally you would look to see how the students did after they completed, after they worked their all the way through the program. And in this case, we had a large number of students, I'd say more than half of them, who didn't even get through the first product. And so um, I, I don't know the logistics of it, but from what they said, they had to like, force the final test for that. And so it may be that it, that it, wasn't, it, it wasn't a fair representation of where they ended up.